Hey, what's happening guys? Today I've got something really easy for you, but I think if you're like me, you're going to find this really useful. And what we're doing is we're using an OLED, specifically one of these OLEDs that uses the SSD 1306 chip, how to hook it up and use it with your Raspberry Pi Pico. It's pretty easy, but uh, you know, since the Pi Pico is so new, it's kind of hard finding out exactly what you need to do. So I thought that we could talk about that today. This is going to be a quick video, just show you how to get it up and running. So first of all, you're going to need the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico and your uh, OLED. This is one of those 0.96, uh, what is it, 128 by 64 pixel OLEDs, and it has to have that SSD 1306 driver in it. You are going to connect it. You know, your VCC goes to uh, whoop, VCC goes to your 3.3 volt rail and ground goes to ground and we're getting them, you know, right off of the Pico there. Then we have our data pin. Our data is uh, GPIO0 and our clock is GPIO1. And that's it for the hardware hookup. Pretty simple, right? All right, let's take a look at the software side. Okay, so we're using Thawney here, obviously. And uh, we need from machine, we're going to import pin and I squared C. And then from SSD 1306, we're going to import SSD 1306 underscore I squared C. So where does that come from? And that was my first big question in the first uh, hurdle into getting this going. Well, you go to Tools, Manage Packages, and right up here you can just type SSD 1306, yeah, SSD 1306 like I did, and it will install it for you. It's that simple. So then we need to initialize our display. We say I squared C equals I squared C. Uh, pin zero is SDA, pin zero, SCL, pin one, and frequency of 40,000. OLED, which is what we're going to call it, equals uh, SSD 1306 I squared C with our size 128 by 64 and it's I squared C. Then all I've done here is I've said OLED fill zero so it fills the screen with black and then our command to print anything on here is OLED.text then in parentheses we put our text and then the position where we want it to appear line, uh, line 0 row 0 so if we wanted to move that you know we could say line 0 row 10 run it again and it moves down so, I mean, basically, that's all there is to it. There are some other commands which we can uh, take a look at. So here are the uh, some information from the GitHub, and I'll put a link to that down below. You can just see here it tells us about our imports and how to set it up. And then you see that we have the fill, fill it with white, fill it with black. And how to write text OLED text world 0, 0, 0, 0010 and then you need this OLED show so that's as far as I've gotten with it today and that's what I've got for you for today now you can use uh, your OLED from your Arduino with your Raspberry Pi Pico and I think that's a huge step in getting the Pico up and running and being as useful as an Arduino so if you guys agree with me let me know down below so there she is. I know it's not terribly exciting, but it is a, uh, a big jump for me to be able to get this to work because now this thing becomes more useful when I have an OLED screen that I can use with it. So hope you guys enjoyed this little video on getting the SSD 1306 to work with your Pi Pico. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons who keep this channel going. I couldn't do it without you. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Hey, even if I don't respond to all your comments, I read them all. And thanks for all the kind words on my foot and my mother's heat. The heat is getting fixed today. The foot will see. I go to see a surgeon next Monday. All right, that's it. I'm out.
peace.